All right, time to do a little bit of Excel magic and convert donuts into gauges. And what I mean by that is inserting a standard donut or pie chart in Excel, applying some clever formatting tricks to it, and converting it into a gauge style visual. Now these gauges do an excellent job quickly showing progress towards something like a benchmark or a goal. And they're a great tool to use for things like scorecards or executive dashboards. So we'll make this work by following a few different steps. We're gonna start by adding some cells containing three core values, the current value, the gap, and the goal in that exact order. From there, we'll insert a donut or a pie chart, your call, and then format that goal series, which represents half of the chart with no fill and no border to essentially make it invisible. From there, we're gonna right click and format the data series to basically rotate our entire donut or pie into a configuration that makes sense. And to do that, we're gonna set the angle of first slice to 270 degrees. So extra tip here, you can also add a percent to goal calculation as a fourth value and insert a data label into your donut that's linked to that cell value. And I'll explain exactly why we do that and how we do it in just a second. Now, the common use cases here Again, tracking performance against benchmarks or goals, or designing those exec style scorecards that help people visualize key metrics and goal pacing at a glance. So let's get our hands dirty, jump into Excel, and create some of these gauges. All right, so in the Pro Tip Workbook, in the table of contents, we're gonna to head to the Custom Gauge Charts demo in the yellow visualization section. I'm gonna link straight to that yellow tab. And here you see I've got some basic placeholders uh, with three different types of goals. I have a lead goal here of 1,000, I have a revenue goal of 100,000, and a profit goal of 50,000. And keep in mind, these numbers are hard-coded. They're totally arbitrary. Feel free to change them if you'd like. And essentially, our first task here is to populate these four cells. That's going to drive our visualization or serve as the source range for this donut. And the current value, this is another hard-coded value. It basically just indicates how far along are you currently to that goal. So just for the sake of demo, let's put something in here like 250 and press Enter. And now that we have these two values, we can calculate the gap, which is goal minus current, D7 minus D5. 750 makes sense. And the percent to goal, which is current divided by goal. D5 divided by D7, or 25%. So super simple, that was all it took to populate our source data. Now let's go ahead and select those first three, current value, gap, and goal, and insert a new chart. I'm gonna go into our pie options, and you'll find donut kind of down at the bottom here. And we'll just drag it over, resize it a little bit to fit. And we don't need a legend in this case, and we actually don't need a title either. So this is a pretty good starting point. And now we have to go through those steps and apply some of these kind of clever formatting tricks here. So I'm gonna right click the data, format the data series, and this angle of first slice option is just gonna rotate that pie or that donut all the way around. And what we're gonna do is rotate it until the point where that 50% segment is right on the bottom, just like this. And while we're in here, let's also shrink down that donut hole size and make the segments uh, just a little bit thicker. That looks pretty good. And from here, this bottom 50%, remember that's what we want to just show up as totally invisible. So I'm gonna right click and format that data point specifically, head to our fill and line options and say, don't even fill this segment. Don't give it a border or anything like that just make it totally invisible. So now all we see are these blue and orange segments. And let's go ahead and just select the actual chart area as well. Just kind of an empty space up here. And I don't want that border around the square of my chart. I guess we don't really need the background fill either. And from here we can change these colors to something that's uh, a bit more logical. Um, blue and orange doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, this is kind of up to you. What I like to do is uh, use one color with a light fill for the portion of the gauge 
that represents the gap. So like a light green solid fill, for instance, and a darker version of that same color for the portion of the gauge that represents the current value. That just kind of makes more intuitive sense to me. It's a little bit more readable, uh, in my opinion. And that really just about does it for the basics. We can go ahead and test this out. So let's say we had 300 leads now. See that gauge kind of bump up. If we get 500, we should hit that halfway point. There we go, it's that vertical segment. 750 should get us 75%. And there you have it. So it's working properly, it's doing exactly what we want. And it's doing a really nice job kind of showing that progression towards a goal in a very clear and simple way, which is why these types of visuals um, are often used in dashboards and executive summaries. Now, the last thing here, which is optional, but I'll show you how to do it, is to add data labels here. And what we're going to do is select the current value segment specifically. I'm going to right click and add a data label. And it's kind of dark. So I'm going to make it white so we can read it. And by default, it's going to label it as the value itself. So 750. And that's helpful. That may be exactly what you want. But what if instead of the number, you want to change that to a percentage? Well, you can right click or head over to your label options and check the percentage box. Now, this tells me that our label for the current value is 37% of the way to goal which doesn't make sense because we know we're more than halfway to the goal. In fact, we're 75% of the way there. So 37 is understating that percentage by 50%. And remember, the reason that's happening is because even though this bottom segment, this goal segment is invisible, it's still part of the chart and it still represents 50% of the total values, which is why that percentage is understated. So what we need to do here is click value from cells and point to that calculated cell in D8. And when we do that and press OK, that 75% in the label is what we want. And now we've got all this extra stuff in here too. So we can get rid of percentage, get rid of leader lines, and the value is still kind of hanging in here. I'm not sure why it does that. You can actually just click, double click in and delete the 750 component of it and that should just about do it. Um, so let's make this label bold. Let's go to our home menu and crank up the size uh, to 11. That looks good. And now let's test out that label. So 25 should be 25%. Oops, <laughs> not 25, 250 should be 25%. There we go. Um, 630 should be 63%. And now check it out, that label is working perfectly because it's now tied to that calculated cell. Now from here, it's just a matter of kind of tweaking the sizing and formatting um, how you'd like it. And once you have that first chart in a great place, the last thing you wanna to do to populate these revenue goals and profit goals is go through that exact same process and build new gauges from scratch. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna populate some current value numbers here in row five. So let's say we've hit you know, 30,000 in revenue so far. Let's say our profit's doing pretty well. It's actually 40,000. Now what we can do is copy the formula for gap and paste it here in columns H and L and do the same thing with percent to goal so that we're not recreating the wheel. And now check this out. When I select this chart, I'm going to show you a, a really cool tip. If I wait for the four pointed arrow hovering over the edge of this gauge. If I click and hold both control and shift, and drag to the right, that's gonna limit the movement to this horizontal plane and watch what happens when I let go of the mouse. It's created a duplicate copy of that chart as I dragged it over here towards my revenue goal. And now all I need to do is grab that source, that reference, drop it right here, and that recreates or recalculates that gauge. And the only other thing now is this label, which is tied to a cell. I can format it, select the range that it's pointed to, and now it's no longer D8. Now it's this one here, H8. And there you go, now it says 30%. So same thing here, select the edge of the chart, control, shift, drag, boom, drop it to profit, drag that source reference, 
over here to the profit numbers, right click, format the data label, select the range, and point to L8 instead. 80%, looking good. Let's test these out. 25,000, 50%. Boom, we are good to go. So we just created our own custom gauge chart visualizations by applying some very clever formatting to standard donut charts in Excel.